This is the power of Hall of Fame Inco Assassin. You didn't know what I usually do. Pop with the kayak, throw like two. See the light of the beam. They go two for me. This boy was taking up the room. She think that she slick. Reason for the two. Get out the way. Better move. He's out of run. He got boom. Go to shot to his knee. They don't know how to move. Sit down, big bro. They know what I do. Who died? His face move. Pop with the cut. Pick a boom. On my throat, I don't need a crew. She bring her friends, I pop her with the crew. If you run, they should shoot. When she throw it back, she go goof. She like shot. I love what you do. I throw a shot. Watch the stumble. He's in my reflection. Through the bottle. He not getting low. We gon' get him. Like damn, he got sent to the rubber. Back out, watch him run with his best friend. I got some heat that leave a nigga steam. Stupid. Free bro, it's been every season. Like, watch how we go and just shut him. Like, watch how he's out of run. He mad that we smoking his son. You tell him what up. They love him. It's just me and my knock. One smoke, do you give me pop? How much you do, nigga? I'm doing a lot. How much you do, nigga? I'm doing a lot. Acting tough, but I know he bluffing. Oh, wait, why you running? He don't get up when I hit his muff. If he keep on talking, I'm in his stomach. Party dead, I'ma get a jump. I will whoop your ass, you don't need to jump in. Oh, he's fat, I don't trust him. Leave him dead, I make that assumption. You fucking up if you fucking with me. Got a 240 in the gun to see. What if there's no need to hop at the feet? 240 seen, take him off his feet. We moving deep. Man, I'm dead. I throw a shot, watch that nigga stumble, he see my reflection. Through the bottle, he not getting low. We gon' get him. Like damn, he got sent to the rubber. Back out, watch some rubber. I got some heat that leave a nigga steaming. Free bro, it's been in every season. Like, watch how we go and just shut him. Like, watch how he's out of run. He mad that we smoking his son. You tell him what I'm, then you better duck. If I throw a shot, he ain't getting punched. How many I do? I do a bunch. Oh, he mad, then he getting punched. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the power of Hall of Fame Inko Assassin and showing you guys exactly what animations you guys need to use and put on so that you guys can get hella ankle breakers every time you play NBA 2K25. Though that being said, let's get right into the video. Starting off with the dribble moves, I'm going to show you guys exactly what dribble moves I have on personally because I think these are the best dribble moves that you can put on as of right now. Um, so go ahead and copy all of my dribble moves. The ones that activate the most ankle breakers are definitely the step backs. Now, I have Zach Levine's step back on, so you go ahead and put on Zach Levine's. But another good one that activates ankle breakers when you use them correctly is Luka Doncic and also the Trey Young step back. These are ones that could definitely activate ankle breakers because they make the defender move a certain way. They're kind of like very hesitant and make defenders move a certain way also there's another move that activates ankle breakers i think it's a part of the crossover but i'm not really sure but i'm gonna show you exactly what it what move it is and how to do it when we go over these clips so what i'm gonna do is go over these clips all of these clips with you and explain exactly how to activate your uh ankle assassin as of right now i have Hall of Fame Ankle Assassin. And this is all you need. Even maybe gold might activate a lot of ankle uh, ankle breakers. So, you feel me? Go ahead and copy everything I'm doing. And I'm going to show you exactly how to activate ankle breakers. Alright, now I'm over on my PC where I have a recording of all my Xbox clips. So, I can go over these ankle breakers. Which, uh, so y'all know exactly what moves I'm doing and what's creating these ankle breakers. So this first clip, right, I'm coming back towards the three-point line, and the guy follows me, right? I start off with a size-up escape. I have Stephen Curry size-up escape. So it explodes to the right, right? So it explodes towards the right. When I'm exploding towards the right, as you can see, he's trying to run toward back towards the basket. Hold on. I skipped way too far. He runs back towards the basket. Now to now to to start an ankle breaker, you have to be making your opponent move his character opposite of where you're moving your character. So if you're going down, he's going up in a fast fashion. He has to flick his left stick 
up while you flick your left stick down, if that makes sense. That's creating his character running back and forth, creating the game input as in like an ankle breaker. So I do this escape. Hold on, I'm gonna use my space bar so it's more accurate when I'm when I'm trying to pause. So I do this escape here, right? Making it look like I'm moving back to like to the right, but more towards the basket. So what he does is move with me. He moves his left stick towards his left, my right, and towards back, like towards the basket, right? But what I do is use my step back explosively. Boom. Once I do the escape, I use the step back. So he comes out and towards the way I was going. Like he came out with his left stick. And then flicked it towards where I was going back towards the basket. And I'm flicking my stick back t like away towards left using my step back. So it's making his character not know what to do here. This is the animation of catching someone's ankles. Their stick moving opposite of where your character is going or flicking hard in the opposite direction of where you're flicking. So boom creates an ankle breaker he's on the floor i get that wide open three now i'm gonna show i'm gonna show and explain all these other clips as well so you guys understand exactly what i'm saying so we go we're going to the next clip we're going to the next clip right and this is a, a real fast fast way to that i got this ankle breaker coming down the court i grab the ball he's running straight down the court what i do is run towards the basket which make his left stick come from move from going down towards back up right i move towards the basket he's moving his stick back up then i stop he comes back he moves his left stick back down and after like like so hold on let me explain this better right so he comes he stops i move forward i stop at this point, he was already moving it down to get close to me, but then he sees me going back towards the basket. So at this point where I'm stopping right here, he's about to move his player back towards the basket, right? I flick straight down. He starts running, and I flick straight down, catching his player slipping like he slipped on a fucking banana peel. Caught his ass. Ankle breaker. Boom. Easy green. Now you don't believe me, let's get to the next clip, right? I'm going to show where all of these make sense. These are all going to start making sense. It's a, it's kind of like a hesitation. It makes them flick their, their stick the wrong way. I do a behind the back. He's moving his character obviously up towards the right. Then after the behind the back, he's obviously moving back towards the basket thinking I'm going to cut in. I hit him with the step back. Boom. Which is making his character move. Wait, hold on. Let me go back. As you can see, his character is moving this way. I'm going to be moving back this way. At this point right here, at this pause, he thinks I'm going to cut in. So he moves inwards. At this point, this point right here is where he's moving his left stick back this way. Where my mouse is going. And I did a step back going this way. Those are two opposites. This is what creates this ankle breaker right here. Boom. Easy. Easy green. Next clip. Now, this is the crossover that I was talking about. I think this is a crossover, but I'm going to tell you exactly how to create this move right here. So, with, with this move right here, what I'm doing is, at this point, I'm moving my left stick up, but flicking my right stick down. To do a step back, you just stop and flick your right stick down and it'll do a step back. At this point right here, I'm still moving my left stick up and flicking my right stick down. Doing a, It's kind of like a crossover. And the reason why it gets him, you already can see the opposites attracting here. He's moving up. I had caught his ankle a second ago. I did a Stephen Curry escape, right? And I'm moving towards... The basket, I'm moving in a diagonal way towards the basket, right? So at this point, he sees that I'm going towards the basket and is already following me. 
I do the move, right? This is I, I'm guessing this is a crossover, but I'm moving my left stick up, my right stick down, pulling downwards, obviously grabbing his ankles. At this point, what he did here was see that I stopped and moved his left stick from running this way and flicked straight down. He flicked straight down. And since I did the, the move, the dribble move, it creates ankle breakers. Sat him on his fucking ass. Sat him on his ass. Next clip. We can just go through all of them. You feel me? We can just go through all of them. This is a crabby. I think that was also a crab. Alright, this move right here. This is what got him. Now, this one, you could probably say it's confusing, right? Because I didn't do a dribble move. But it still, it still goes off of the left stick, right? The left stick and what I'm doing with my right stick. So, he's following me, as you can see. And I do a, doing, um, a step back. So he comes back towards my direction. He's full sprinting, running, because he sees me run. Like, look, hold on. So I'm running up court. He's with me. I do a step back. He comes down. And right here at this moment, he thought I was going to the left. He comes down, and at this point right here, he moves his stick to the left, thinking I was going to move to the left. Pre-thinking, like trying to get there early to stop me. No, but I moved to the right. That what makes his player slip to the left where he was going. Slipping him on his fucking ass, making him do a twirl on the floor. Easy green. Next clip. I was one of you, one of my mans in the, in the my court. At this point, I do a behind the back moving this direction. He obviously is in a mode where he's moving back and forth. I move, do it behind the back. He comes down, and I do a step back when he's moving his left stick the opposite direction. He's facing the way that he was moving his left stick, thinking I was just going to cross and run over. I didn't cross, run over. I did a step back. Now he's on his laid back feet in the fucking air, ready to take dick. Come on. I'll play it back. Explain it all right now. I'll run it back. Running to the right. He thought I was going to cross back to the right. No, I did a step back. He's on his ass. Stupid. Next clip. This is... This... This move was given a question to me by a lot of people. A lot of people seen this and was... What move is that? That is my hop step. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I use... I forget what hop step I use. I'm not going to lie. But um, if you guys go back, scroll back, and look at all my dribble moves, you probably see what my hop step is. I think Kyle Corver, some Corver. That's my hop step. But for, the, for this move right here, all you have to do is run towards the basket and hold your right stick. Hold your right stick down. You do this move right here. And I had both of them running full to the corner because they see the corners open. Stupid. Ankles, easy green. I think this is oh, okay, 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 okay. I see what happened. Here. It's it's my behind the back. He thinks so. This behind the back gets people a lot. This is why I like my behind the back. Right here, he stops, and I do a behind the back moving towards the corner. He starts running towards the corner. As of right now, here in this point, he is holding his left stick towards this corner right here, which is basically up. I do a step back, moving my right stick down. His left stick up, my right stick down. Ankle breaker. Caught his ass. Stupid ass dickhead. Green bean. I think that explains everything. You guys are probably getting it now, you feel me? So I'm going to just leave this here. I don't want this video to be too long, you feel me? But with that being said, leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit the bell so every time I make a video, you guys know about it first. I helped you catch ankles. Go catch everybody ankles right now, feel me? Catch everybody ankle right now. Go ahead. Leave me a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.